This is code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Fundamentals class. I'm on course D, Lesson 8, Nested Loops and Maze, Part 4. Look closely at the nested loops below. What will happen when you click Run? Ah, well, I think it's going to submit our answer if we hit click Run, but let's see. This is going to repeat three times. All right, so any code in here must happen three times. Well, what's the code? Well, first the B moves forward. Okay, wait a minute. Now there's another loop. What does that mean? Well, it's going to run this loop then. So I'm going to repeat all of this code three times. But right now I'm going to repeat this twice inside of it. So the B is going to move forward. Then we hit repeat and the computer says, okay, I'm going to run this twice. The B is going to move forward again, get the nectar, we hit the bottom of the loop, so the B would be here, and it has gotten that nectar. We hit the bottom of this loop, and it goes zoop, back to the top of it, of the pink little block. We move forward and get the nectar again. Then the code's going to drop below the pink. Zoop. Oh, I got to turn right. Turns right. Hits the bottom of this loop, and it says, okay, that was my first time through this loop. Zoop. All right, two more times, and runs again. Moves forward. Repeat twice. Okay, I got to repeat this twice. Moves forward again. Gets the nectar. Hits the bottom. Zoop, moves forward again. So, the bee will move forward and get the nectar. Nope. The bee will get only two neck. Nope. All the nectar. Let's see. Victory! Yeah! Alright, let's keep going.